Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Phoenix Point blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time for a double defense mission as our prime team is just jet setting through the world. Uh, war has started recently and uh, believe it or not uh, the different factions are at war with one another. Yep, that sucks. Okay, in terms of who gets to play with a shotgun, where was the shotgun missing? I wasn't entirely sure, but did we miss the shotgun here? I think the shotgun is better than the Phoenix Helix Cannon. Might as well give him that. Long range, short range, very short range. Oh, and Jarenks. Okay, well, we'll get him the gun. Just one sec. All right, Jarenks finally got something for semi close combat. Shotguns and rifles. He could vanish. Eh, that's not bad either, but he's really not uh, sneaking that often, so it's sort of irrelevant. Instead, what we can do is double check if we need anything else. Oftentimes it's just strength for carrying. Or more will points. Cool. Very good. That works out well. Prime team deploys. Let's go. All right. Off we go. We got to defend. Kill all enemies and keep all key structures well intact. Well, that should not be that difficult. Let's start with... <laughs> and... First things first, Grell... ...is actually starting to move in want to spot out where the enemies are. Good, apparently they are coming from one side. Or not, maybe they are coming from two sides, that's okay. Which in this case means uh, we can let one of our cleaners uh, take uh, either of the sides. Oh, wow, this is going to be good. Red clearance, yes please. All right, shed it around this time. Oh yeah. I can hear the fear. Oh yeah. Okay, I see. Lots of enemies are incoming. Feel bad for them. Almost. Move up. Uh. 
Jump down. Hello there. Should have run. Moves up. Jumps up. <laughs> okay, GG's. The crime team is just undefeated. And we didn't even have a chance to move in. We we weren't doing much. Like that was one guy completely moving by himself. I don't I don't uh, understand how this is balanced. Not even end game XCOM is like that. You just move up five hundred fifty uh, points of damage, no matter how much armor someone has. It's just com a complete uh, a complete stomp. Tell you what We don't need the other, uh, we don't need the others. Might as well just move the prime uh, prime team there. Very good. Research is progressing moderately. Two for twelve. Sounds like a plan. Let's continue. Okay, before we're moving there. Now we can start the mission. Everybody's ready. Haven't really used anything, so might as well just go for the next mission. Good. Let's do the whole nine yards yet again. Inappropriate Murphy. It's everybody riled, uh, rallied up. Good. This time, I think the butcher owns is going to help us. But before we do that, as per the usual, Grail, uh, Grail with her massive perception will help us to find out where the enemies are located. Okay, they are coming from there. Fair enough. One dash. Two dash. S. Oh, cool. New enemies. Well, well, I stand the test of time with their little pets that they brought with them. We're going to find out in a second. For starters. Hmm. 
can we paralyze this guy and then get mut mutagens out of him? It's technically an alien, right? We'll try that. Yeah, okay, I will not try that. That is one of the toughest opponents that I've uh, met weak. so far. Mainly because it was taking three hits before going down. That's atypical. Normally uh, enemies don't nearly take that many. Ranks moves up, hands over an action here. Can't really see anyone that we would need to fight. Hmm. Very strange. I was hoping we Advancing. would find all of the enemies. Apparently that's not the case. Let's show them what we can do. Here comes the Phoenix. Moving to coordinates. Heavy goes in. Let's do this. Very soon, everybody here is on a Phoenix Point control. Our little scouts are moving out. I'm not even sure if we haven't already saved everything. There might be just one enemy hiding somewhere. Just not sure where that somewhere is supposed to be. Well, they brought one of uh, these nasty uh, creatures with them. I should at some point start testing them myself because we've built them in every single location but I've never uh, taken them on to missions. The problem that I'm seeing is I'm heavily, to this very uh, point, heavily disincentivized to use anything but the Prime team. Because number one, you want to just stack as many act uh, um, uh, ability points on them as humanly possible. Number two, it's much faster. Okay, well, sure, you can join. Josepha. Construction complete. Good. How does diplomacy look? Ah, 
the other two factions didn't like the defense too much but it's also not the end of the world apparently Good. So, what I was uh, saying is, I'm heavily disincentivized to do anything but take the main team. Maybe uh, b because of the way that uh, mm, character progression works. Like, the absolute main team at this point is already a complete overpowered uh, mm, shit show, but you still want more like the the game offers it um, and i don't know how fast character progression is on the non-legendary uh, mode but it seems to me that there's just um almost no upper cap you can always continue to progress and that in itself makes it somewhat weird. You you want your soldiers to be the absolute strongest force uh, that they can be, right? So naturally, you uh, you want uh, to continue missions. Hmm. Wondering, shall we open another base? If we do one. Let's activate the base down here. Because why not? And I can tell you, we already have a team that uh, easily needs a little bit more uh, points. That's the point, right? You're only getting five ability Danger points. Is under attack. Where do we put uh, those? I think Born in the USA is the right uh, one. All right, time for proper defense. Good. Continuing uh, to like free up uh, the next Phoenix Point base down there. Nine four two. That's good. And all we're doing is trading, 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 and defending from time to time. Which is crazy if you think about it. Yeah, I come back to the same basics. Pacing of the game seems off. I've never played so many missions. And still wasn't nearly done with the actual game. It seems disproportionate. Like, I've done 150 missions, maybe even more than that. And they keep coming. I don't know, is the game expecting you to just ignore them? Very soon we can get two new weapons, another rocket launcher with unlimited ammunition and another scyther 
uh, potentially for the main team because the weapon is just too good. Uh, we're going to start the mission in a second. I'll tell you what, let's just for the sake of doing it, uh, do a triplet mission uh, because it's fast. All right, landed, ready, and I guess you guys never, I guess, what our plan is going to be. I know, completely wild. Dashing over here. A worm. Oh, I forgot to give him rapid clearance. Oh, my lord. Well, there you go. Rapid clearance. Thank you. Moves up. Kills this guy. Very nice. Charges up. Charge in with a butcher. Who sees an, a potential enemy all the way back there? Ranks moves up. Continues to move up. All right, finally. I was almost getting worried we wouldn't find enemies. Did I just yet again forget? Oh my lord. So I can focus, please. <laughs> no, too little uh, will points. These guys won't really make it all the way to me. Overwatch, Shattered Realm. Manages to move in.
Good. And even quality moves in. Good. End of turn. Let's go. Okay, cool. Well, tell you what, not enough willpower. These guys can think about how uh, what they want to do. Currently, they are not posing a threat. These guys here, on the other hand, are posing a threat and are uh, being dealt with accordingly. Okay, fair enough. Move up, move up. That and that, and it should be good with will points for now. Shattered Realm moves up. I don't want any injuries because uh, typically that requires us to wait in the in a base. Or we will start the next uh, mission with let less hit points, can't afford that. Ian. One, two. Moves up. One. War cry so that that guy can't really move far. And we're just going to wait until the mind uh, uh, sucker comes in. In the meantime, Overwatch. 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 Dilly is moving up and with the sniper we're in for a nice overwatch. Guess what? More overwatch. Okay. I think, by the way, it's a design flaw that you cannot 
really prevent these guys from getting up. My perspective, it doesn't make any sense. There should be a hard counter to them. Personally, just don't like games where there aren't any hard counters. There needs to be something that you can do other than War Scream, which is literally what you're doing with any other uh, enemy. So, naturally, if you could, I don't know, uh, use an explosive or even something that is underutilized, a skill that typically doesn't work that, uh, that well, something like in... Uh, Gears Tactics, where you could uh, use explosives or mines to immediately close uh, the potholes. That could be an option of how to deal uh, with uh, the corpses. It's just an unnecessary annoyance, really, instead of making the enemy fun. Or well, say, they wouldn't spawn uh, if uh, if you beat them with um, if you beat them uh, with overwatch they only spawn if you kill them during your turn or you melee attack them and then they don't uh, spawn something along the lines of uh, actual counterplay South Africa repair that repair the satellite uplink uh, we are going for Mystery Teller. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. What else should uh, should we get? Still can't fly from here to the South Pole, to Antarctica, which gen uh, genuinely sucks. Uh, well, that could be a base activation. Do we need it is the question. Hmm. You know what? Once we have a little bit more resources, maybe. For now, let's position them in a central location. And wait for the research to go through. Okay, yeah, well, that's going to be funny. Nah, we're not going to deploy a guard in here, although it would be... Although it would be fun. Getting that and that. Um... No, that's the crew base again. I don't want to deal with that. Another defense. Well, fantastic. Whilst we're at it, might as well defend. Defend the rest. <sighs> really? Full fledged open warfare. It seems towards the end game it's getting more and more crazy. Good. So, what does this guy have? Regeneration, double perception. Okay, just a new, even more nasty shotgun. Yeah, well, that's not going to deter me. Not in, not in the slightest. Are 
Jericho Haven is under attack. What is your problem? Okay. So we can do that, and then that, and that. I think this is still doable. Haven Info, 84%. Okay. So now you guys are counter-attacking each other. The fuck is going on? Is the A team going to be fast enough for all four of them? That's a great question. The answer is I'm not sure. Research complete. Well, now we at least get aircraft speed. Oh, and we will need to also defend the protein fields. percent uh, I think we're going to be fine still 90 percent just hold on a little bit longer So we're continuing that here. Very well. So this is going to be our next mission, definitely. Still 90%. Doing a little tech trade before we go in. And yeah, that's going to happen in the next episode, I'm pretty sure. All right, it, uh, three defenses. Uh, shit's getting crazy here. Prime team needs to go here. Pandorans will reach this field uh, very soon. I think we're going to fly over. Um, yeah, these two are going to fly here. Potentially, we'll potentially need to defend with Manticore 1 and 3. And in the meantime, the Prime team can defend the other three. In terms of just getting that stuff done, um, we wanted to create uh, some more Scyther. And... Where's my big fat rebuke? There we go. That's important. I think... I think we're going to build one more of each. Just for the other teams. Yeah, and overall we're okay, I would say. Could build a bit more of uh, that here, just because it's pure armor and could help us quite a bit. Yeah, we already got the Heliuses queued up. 
for more interception and faster interception. So that should be fine. Uh, other than that, it's just the continent here completely goes uh, crazy. You gotta defend that, then fly up, and then fly up here. Wow. Lots of defenses, guys. Anyways, if you want to defend uh, as well, then sign up for recruiting. Uh, defend the like button at all costs. And uh, the only way of doing this is uh, hammer it uh, like a madman. Click, 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 click until it's erected. Thanks, and see you in today's. Bye-bye.